This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2011 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It's a three quarter ton crew cab short bed. Um, it is a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's an LTZ, um, obviously with leather. It has 144,295 miles. It was a dealer trade in in Anaheim, California to new car dealers. They generally can't get financing for their used car customers. Um, with over 100,000 miles uh, on the vehicle, so they don't even try, which is ridiculous because it's a beautiful truck and really, really clean, really straight, runs great. They should, but they don't. And so we buy them, which is great. Anyway, we do an inspection. There wasn't much to inspect here. Um, the only thing that doesn't work is the DVD player and the headliner. Um, 6.6 .6 Duramax 4x4 LTZ crew cab, beautiful truck. Needed nothing. Um, we gave it a detail. Um, only issue is DVD player that might not function. Could be user error. We don't really spend a whole lot of time messing around with uh, with aftermarket equipment that people put in. Um, I guess it powers up and maybe there's input issues and we don't have the right input. But I'm not having my guys, at the amount of money they make, uh, fiddle with uh, $200 units that you could buy it. Now you could buy that unit for 200 bucks at Best Buy and plug a brand new one in. So it's really no point in spending lots of time on that something like that when it's pretty easy to deal with so we don't and we just tell you that it may not work it probably doesn't work assume it doesn't but you may get a surprise you may just hit a button and it'll all come on and we'll be knuckleheads and you'll be smart anyway uh little ding right there tiny one right there um i'm gonna walk around this truck I will point at anything I see that you might want to look at a little bit closer. Um, in the uh, photo gallery, in that photo gallery, you'll see a little uh, magnifying glass icon that you can drag over any photo and zoom in on any spot in any photo. It's like having your face right up against the truck. If you're curious about something you see in a photo, you can see it up close. Um, there's no problem with that at all. All right, so I encourage you to use that. I will uh, walk around the truck. I'll start the truck. I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book. I'll show you the Carfax. I will show you uh, under the hood with the truck running. Um, everything that we know, you will know so that the right person ends up with this vehicle. Um, drama is not a good thing. And with as many people as see our vehicles online, there's no sense in uh, leaving stuff out or making stuff up, BSing, because uh, then we have to deal with that later. And we don't do that. Ten years and many thousands of vehicles later, life is very easy when you don't do that. So we don't. And it works out just fine for everybody. Right person buys the truck, and we don't have any drama. Not supposed to be drama. All right. Let me fire this guy up. Hundred forty-four thousand three hundred and two miles. All right. Here's the uh, Kelly Blue Book on the truck. Uh, 2011 Silverado 2500 LTZ short bed 144,295 miles typical listing price would be $29,113 okay here's your Carfax right here um, history and events affecting the Carfax 30,410 is what they would put the value out based on the history of the vehicle uh, they kind of blend the history and the Kelly Blue Book is what they do there's the VIN uh, no accidents reported Carfax one owner. Um, this is the date of the Carfax. I did it about an hour ago, 228. It was a one owner. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. This is right here. They don't call it saying an accident, but they say damage reported in the rear. They probably replaced the bumper. We don't see anything going on back there. That was a long time ago. Um, 217, they said that they probably needed a rear bumper. And then two, what, three weeks later, it's getting uh, an oil change, so whatever it was. Didn't get a ticket, no cops were involved. So it was probably just a bumper. 
We don't see any paint work back there at all. There we go. Past emissions in California, 136. Okay. Open the hood. Let's make sure the doors are all unlocked. Hopefully I've got the windows unlocked, the safety lock off, because I have a tendency to leave that on too and then I have to run around the truck again. Anyway, there you go. There's your uh, Duramax motor. Allison transmission, Duramax motor. All right, I did not have the locks on, good. The door locks. Here's your seat, seat back forward and back. Whole seat forward and back and up and down. That works fine. This seat's in really good shape. Let's see, you got manuals in here. Here's a remote for that uh, DVD player that, you know, I, I, I don't know, I'm told the power is up and I'm, I'll bet there's about a 50% chance it's fine. You can buy those things at Best Buy and just plug another one into the same wiring for, you know, 200 bucks. So I don't really think I'd be too concerned about that. seats really good shape carpet looks good under the seats la, la, la. pretty truck anyway this is uh this is the unit it's a Panasonic I would just assume if I were you the you have to replace that if you want it to work Maybe you'll hit pay dirt. Find out that we're not DVD specialists here. What's that? Pretty truck. Oh, I like trucks like this, it's so easy. Duramax, Allison, four-wheel drive, LTZ. Yeah, not a whole lot to stress out about here. All right, mirrors. Out, in, up, and down. Other side. Out, in, up, down. Tilt wheel. That works fine. Seat back forward and back. Seat back. Seat forward. Seat up. And down. That works fine. A little bit of thing in the die right here. The bolster looks great. This thing really looks good. Yeah. Alright, let me hop in this guy. Just the seat a little bit. Get a little taller here. There we go. All right. Get the seatbelt on. All right. Seatbelt on. All right. You got navigation right here. Radio. All right. There you go, the steering controls work. Let's see, let's turn this down a little bit. Turn that down. Don't need that on. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I think that's about it. Let me turn the fan up. Fan down, temperature up. Temperature up, temperature down. That all works fine. Toe, there's toe, right? On and off. What else we got going on here? We have cruise control here, right? Set, blah, blah, blah. Tilt 
this wheel down a little bit. Uh, buh -buh. Go to neutral. We're gonna go to for low. So, I'm gonna wait for the dot there. Then we got the solid dot. Now we're at for low. That's definitely for low. That would be granny gear. And reverse. By the way, it's got a backup camera right there. Let's uh, test the parking sensors. I think it's got parking sensors. So. Yep. All right. Parking sensors work. Now let's put it in neutral. We've got a four high. All right. Here's four high. Better drive. All right, that's a little quicker. In reverse. camera right neutral two-wheel drive all right let's go for a ride all right this truck oh, by the way it's also got on star too um this truck has been sold on a clear title obviously it was a dealer trade-in um beautiful truck uh, if you come to Tucson and drive it home you'll pay the following you will pay whatever your state tax rate is it could be zero it could be ten percent whatever your state tax rate is what you'll pay if you come to pick it up in person uh, plus our city of 2.7% and then you'll pay a uh, $250 dock fee. Very simple. Um, if you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is a good pump price and that's it. No taxes, no dock fee, nothing. Okay. Um, once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the uh, title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you. We'll scan it in your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately. And then we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, obviously, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you. The title should show up in the mail before the gets before the truck gets to you. But once the truck shows up, you'll take the title you already have in the truck and go get plates. It's very simple. Uh, deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Once we have that deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com. And everyone, including you, will know that you're the owner. Okay, so no one will keep trying to buy it. Um, the last part of every video, I encourage you to watch every video we have on our site, the last couple of minutes especially, so you know I'm not singling this truck out. Um, this truck is beautiful, okay? But you need to listen to the last part of every video so you'll hear this, same speech uh, for every vehicle. We don't have salesmen, don't have bottled water with our name on it, don't have a lounge, don't have a chocolate bar with our wrapper on it. Uh, we don't add uh, extra money to the uh, price of the vehicle when we sell it for future repairs because we're not making future repairs. The day you're the owner, you're the owner. We give you the Carfax, we give you the Kelly Blue Book, we give you this video, we tell you what we know about it. Um, photos that you can zoom in on, there's no secrets here, okay? So you can make a good decision and we're not trying to make absolutely every penny out of, that we could. Uh, we're not like a brick and mortar where we have to, you know, squeeze every dime out of every vehicle. We need to sell these things quickly, uh, and we need to sell them honestly, and we need the right people to buy them. That's how this works. If you think that the day you get it and a window motor breaks or you need an injector or the air conditioning stops working or whatever, um, that we're going to write you a check, you're dead wrong. We're not. Um, it's your truck. Okay. So if that doesn't work for you, that's understandable. Um, you can, you know, you can buy a brand new one and brand new LTZ right now. You're probably looking at seventy-five to eighty-five thousand dollars, and for five years you'll be good to go, bumper to bumper, uh, for three years and five years on powertrain. And once that's gone, you're still gonna owe uh, a, probably the equivalent of a small condo, fifty or sixty grand. You'll probably still owe on it, and uh, you'll be out of warranty. Uh, that's why it's best to buy used, but. Um, you know, if you if you really need that peace of mind, then that's what you should be doing. You should be buying brand new every time, or leasing brand new. Um, anyway, uh, this is a hell of a nice truck. Please make sure you go through the video. Um, uh, look at the photos. Uh, make sure you're ready with a deposit. That's probably the most important thing. If you're not ready with a deposit, this thing's gonna go quickly. But like I said, we don't put them online for a fortune. We put them online for a price that'll catch people's eye because we need to move them. We're not trying to make every dime we can. Uh, you know, if they sit around too long, we will lose money. Okay, so we have to get them gone quickly. Um, 
because we have to pay for stuff like this. We're putting an electric fence so the shippers can come in at night and move vehicles. There's just too much going on here. We need to make sure that we can uh, move vehicles 24 hours. Anyway, I think that's about it. I'm gonna get this part for my brother. He's gonna take some uh, the photos for it. I'm gonna, I should have left it outside. I didn't realize that he didn't already do that. So, I'm gonna put it outside here which will let him know that that hasn't been done yet. There we go. Alrighty then. Oh, nice truck, people. I would not hesitate to own something like this. All right. Walk around it one more time while I'm here, right? Some people like to complain that we do it in the shade and they can't see, and then they can't see one side. And those are the people we automatically run <laughs> because they're crazy, but I guess if I have a little extra time, I'll walk around for you. And I do. It's a really pretty truck. All right, that's about it. Thank you for your time.